Hello mate, welcome back. In this episode of Render Review we've got three images from Bradford, Ai Ishikawa and Bandog. If you want to see what their images look like, stay tuned. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon, that really helps me out. And of course, an even bigger thank you to my members and patrons. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. So first up, we have this image from Bradford and let's have a look at this thing. So the first thing that I can see is that he's actually spent a really good amount of time working on his composition and his characters. We can see that their expressions look really nice and natural. There's no weirdness. She's looking over her shoulder potentially at somebody else, but the expressions are believable and she looks very sassy as well. The hair looks really good. I think this is a D-Force hair model, which accounts for the nice realistic way that it's hanging over her face. But Bradford has paid attention to making sure that the hair doesn't clip on the chap's forehead here, which is a really good thing because potentially there is a lot of room for that kind of thing to happen. This is quite a fluffy hairstyle. And if he gets too close, it'll end up clipping through his forehead or his eye or worse still his nose. So really good effort paying attention to detail on that one, my friend. Looking at her hand on the back of his neck, that is probably one of the best entries I've seen so far in terms of the clipping of the fingers in the neck. You can see that it actually looks like her fingers are touching the neck and not just digging in or hovering above so really good effort there as well really impressed with that and again the hand on the chest she's really just gently got her hand on his chest there there's no clipping you can see that because his shoulder is pushed forward it's obscuring the view of where the contact is made which is actually a really useful trick for other people to learn if you aren't sure about whether a character is touching the floor correctly or touching another character correctly, you can always adjust the angle or the pose so that you can't actually see whether or not that contact is there and you'll still get a very believable image. Really liking the tattoo on the male character's arm as well. That looks genuinely like a good realistic tattoo. Now I know that that's not necessarily a comment on Bradford's abilities to render or whatever, but uh, this product is pretty good, pretty solid looking tattoo there, really happy. The negatives I can see in the image, realistically there's only two things that I can think of. The first one is that the model, the female model skin looks a little plasticky. It looks like there's not much of uh, depth in there which isn't necessarily a bad thing in terms of the image itself, but there is definitely a little bit of a plasticky motif going on there. Can't see a lot of texture, which is the only thing I can really think of on this image. Overall, really solid image there, Bradford. I would be chuffed if that were one of mine. Next up is an image by Ai Ishikawa. And there's a lot to pack in on this one. That's not necessarily a bad thing. That's just that there's a lot to look at here. So what we've got is this cute uh, Asian looking character sitting on a swinging chair. I like the Dutch tilt. I'm a big fan of it. I do it in a lot of my photographs. So I quite appreciate it. It adds a little bit of action to the image. You could imagine that this character is actually swinging backwards and forwards there. Contact with the chair itself is really solid. There's no visible clipping, which is part of the trick, really. It looks like she's in contact with this nice soft cushion. And there's obviously some clipping that's got to happen for that to take place. But at the same time, it's not visible. So it looks like she's nice and comfy in this chair. Nice short hairstyle as well. So there's no room for gravity to cause problems in terms of the angle of her head. The facial expression does look a little bit blank. I'm not sure if there's been an expression applied there. It looks like the default Genesis blank expression. Now you can get away with it to a certain extent in a pose like this because you, sh you could say that she's just got a vacant expression on her face whilst she is concentrating on something or pondering. But there are other expressions that you can use and it's 
quite noticeable in the image that she doesn't really have an expression her eyes are just kind of gazing off into nothingness but again maybe that's what you were going for hard to say the overall pose looks quite good the problem you do have with genesis characters is that when the legs are bent past 90 degrees the pubic bone as we can see here tends to stick out too far and there's not a great deal that we can really do about that other than maybe morph it out or edit it out in post but yeah you can end up with a girl looking like she has maybe this is a transgender character i'm certainly not here to judge but it kind of looks like she's got a bit of a bulge there in her pants at the moment so something else to consider it's not a natural looking pose in terms of people don't generally see like that so it's it's kind of the suspension of disbelief in her having her legs up like that and her toes pointed this would be a pose that you might see a model doing in a photo shoot or something along those lines so it really depends on the context of the shot but you need to be careful of the the pubic bone bulge and whether or not the pose looks realistic or not it depends on what the image is in relation to anything else really nice use of depth of field though i'm liking the lights around the doorway they add quite a nice effect there and the depth of field just draws the eye to the character and the composition is spot on really nicely in that rule of thirds mark there so the eye is automatically drawn to her lighting is really good it looks like she's being lit by the room light so that's good the contrast is not too bad either you're getting some nice good shadows there so overall a really strong image really like it really good effort there my friend last up here we have an image by bandog and this is a character who's laying on a bed i assume this is a provocative image because she's got cigarettes next to her um, and she's in a smoking pose but she doesn't have a cigarette in her mouth so I presume that she's giving some kind of um, signal to the images viewer to do a certain thing to her perhaps so lots of observations to make about this image all of them good of course really liking the scattered objects around her they all seem to be on the bed as well the bedding doesn't rock up and this is a tricky one to achieve the problem you have with a set like this is that because we know that when someone lays on a bed they will automatically rock up the bedding so it's a tricky one um, and obviously we've got lots of props the, the matches you're not going to expect them to give you any rucking up or because they're very light the ashtray the bottle and the character herself you will the problem you've got is that this prop has already got lines going along it creases along it so it's quite difficult um, i would try to avoid any kind of soft fabric that doesn't have either a morph to include the weight of the character on it or at least some kind of deforce functionality just to give it more realism in that respect however having said that it doesn't really stand out too much in this image i'm just being really picky about things because that's what i do cigarette ends are all lit probably something i would have fixed in post to be honest um again not necessarily a bad thing it's probably not something that many people are going to notice i'm going to guess that this image is probably not going to be staying on the screen for any length of time i would however just for the sake of being anal i would probably black out those cigarette ends so that they're not glowing moving on to the character the costume is quite interesting i do like the outfit it's quite funky the it's bright pink there's certainly no shortage of pink in this image the crease between the breasts is always a tricky thing to fix there are morphs that you can buy that you can use to fix that or you can create your own using some of the videos that i've created in my das studio playlist which would tell you how to create morphs that would remove that from the image it's a little bit strange the way the breasts um, are hugged by the by the material um, there's obviously um, pokies there which is what you would expect from thin material but the creases under the breasts and in the cleavage is a little bit hard to fix without going into the likes of ZBrush or Blender 
but it is doable and it would make a great deal of difference to the image. Failing that, you can always use some of the post-processing techniques that I've talked about in other videos just to remove those creases so that it looks a little bit more natural. The only other tip I would mention in the breast department is that you can get morphs or poses that move the breasts apart and down so that they look like they're more natural and they're being affected by gravity. Something else maybe to consider in future. The light source itself is behind the camera. I'm never a huge fan of that because it feels like a 1980s Instamatic camera with an on-camera flash. However, it has been used at good effect in this case. The contrast is nice and solid, particularly as you can see around the jawline there, and you can see the shadows under the arm there on the bed. The hair looks really good, and it looks like there's been a deforce modifier applied to this hairstyle so that it relaxes onto her arms really well. Overall, this is a really strong image. The eye contact with the camera is good. There's an undertone in this image that I'm not sure about. I, I assume that it's trying to be a kind of provocative image and it's probably a, an image in a series of images. This is probably part of a storyboard in a visual novel or something like that. So without context, it's kind of hard to say. But overall, the quality of the image is really solid and I'd be really pleased with this as well. So well done to Bandog. That's a really solid effort. Thanks very much for the submission. And that goes for everybody else. Thanks to everyone who's already submitted images to render review. If you want to have your images reviewed by me, then feel free to send them to realthundon at gmail.com and I will be happy to investigate. Obviously, make sure your images are Facebook friendly and no attempting to advertise any products or anything like that. So no watermarks and the like on there. I will obviously let you know if you send me an image that's not appropriate for render review. Thanks everybody for your submissions and keep them coming and I will see you in the next one. But until then, you take damn good care of yourselves, all right? Bye-bye.